Welcome, my dear friends, to our Safe Emptying series today here at Hill Media Africa. Our topic, indeed, another challenging one, is the challenges of self emptying in leadership. You remember, I've always asked us to call on the Holy Spirit, He is the agent of every knowledge and every uh, institution. He brings it to birth in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit of God, the animator, our friend, our companion, our advocate, help us to allow ourselves to be disposed uh, to be formed into proper instruments of leaders for our people, for our country, for our world. Make us seven leaders through Christ our Lord. Amen. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for this. Uh, joining me in this prayer. So important to what we are about to discuss, to what we are about to, to, to you know, share. And, 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 and manage because leadership is about management, is about sharing of responsibility, service and then when we are serving one is serving another another is in service for the other so leadership is about being there as a minister for our brothers and sisters, our people mm? and the only thing that becomes, as it were, the mirror image of our leadership is the self-emptying life of Jesus. I am in this position because of my Father's will. Yes, I lay down my life and I take it up myself. But it's all because of my Father's will that I let it down. And so every one of us, who is in this leadership, is in this leadership because of my brothers and sisters, because of our people. No one takes up the leadership, the honor of leadership unto himself. He is a leader for the other, for the society, for the people. He is not a leader for himself. He is a leader for the people. And so the sharing and the participation should reflect this awareness that we are servants. Servus severum day. We are servants of the servants of the people of God. Even among the leaders, we are servants to other leaders who are servants to the people of God, to the people of our nation, to the people of our society. And what does this entail in the question of self-emptying? When we empty ourselves, Jesus emptied himself according to his father's will demands. So we, what are the demands of the people? What are the demands of our members, of the people of our society? What are we called to do? What are we challenged? What are our duties? What are our portfolio? What are the things that every child, every man, every minister, every governor, every house of representative, every senate, what are we in the office for? For personal mm, amassment of wealth and power, for greed and for psychophancy. Why are we there? It's a question, you know, amazing question, amazing challenge, isn't it? Isn't it? Because one thing is to say, I am now in power. I have to suppress and oppress and repress everyone. And that's exactly what we get. People are into leadership. People came into leadership, they don't check the account, they don't check, the, they don't audit anybody and nobody audits them. They man's wealth and man's everybody's wealth and they, you know, seize people's properties and handle it the way they want. And they get out of office and they get away with the whole thing. And that is why we keep buying office every day. Because we want immunity of the next office to cover our iniquity of the past office, isn't it? What an amazing culture, amazing place, amazing people. You can understand what I mean. 
Because in a society where there is no accountability, where there is no auditing, where there is no responsibility, where there is no challenge to what Jesus has led as a, a pattern for leadership. It's not a question of Christianity. It's not a question of Muslim. It's not a question of Hinduism. It's a question of the principle of, of reality, the principle of life and governance, the principle that is honest, sincere, plateau as it were, open, decent, that can change the society and give the society the right order of things. The model of Jesus, Jesus' is model of leadership, I come to serve, not to be served. I put it to all of us today that until we form and raise seven leaders in this country, in this state, we continue to have soul kingships. The kings that will oppress and enslave their daughters and, 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 and wives and citizens of our places, our people, our culture, our ethnic groups. That's what we have. The kings that will, that saw them all, Samuel said, no, no to this king. You should allow the theocratic government, the theocratic politics, where God and God thing is made manifest and center for our leadership. We lack all that. And that's the challenge that self-emptying prayer brings to us. Jesus brought it, and now the MCCP MOJ congregation and mission, and Hill mission is presenting it, re representing it, reenacting it to all of us. Let us join hands and build a leadership that is seventh leadership and called in self emptying But your will, O oh Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.